You may know me as the advocate for self-care for not just pharmacy, but for the healthcare system. We are the advocates for our patients, and we cannot dispense our full potential until we fill ourselves up to do that first. Physical fitness, proper nutrition, and managing stress through mastering your mindset are the three legs of the tripod that allow us to fill our own cups so that we may fill others up. But there is more. There is a fourth leg that will strengthen you beyond what you could ever hope to do by yourself. This fourth leg of self-care should really be the first one because it will yield you infinite abundance so powerful that you will be able to give and grow to a level not possible on your own. This is the self-care service of faith. Why? Because faith forges freedom. Strong holding a limiting belief is the number one reason why healthcare professionals do not live up to their full potential, leading to a life of complacency, regret, and lack of fulfillment. The most common limiting belief? I am not enough. The reality? You are correct. You are not enough. You are more than enough. And that is not me talking. That is straight from God. Regardless of your specific beliefs, theology, or religion, faith is the one thing, the linchpin, that will give you unlimited power to serve beyond what you could ever hope to do on your own. People may challenge your beliefs. They may argue with your theology. They may disagree with your religion. But there is one thing that they can never take away from you, and that is your story, your testimony to why you believe. This may lead you to a question, how long do I have to make my story? How extensive do I have to share in order to make my testimony genuine and authentic? Answer, seven words. I was blind, but now I see. This stems from a story of the blind man in the Bible, who Jesus saved. Seeing the blind man, Jesus knelt down in the dirt, mixed his own saliva with it to make mud, then rose up to paint onto the man's face. He then instructed him to go and wash it off, and after he did so, miraculously could see all that was around him. People were amazed and couldn't believe it. How did this happen? How did he do it? What was the strategy behind all of this? The man's answer, his story, his testimony, laid to rest all questions and was accomplished with seven words. I was blind, but now I see. You have a story, you have a testimony to your faith, and you have the power to share that with the world. It's not that you have to avoid adversity. It's not that you have to run away from problems. It's not that storms are bad. Storms make trees take deeper roots. And if you stay rooted in your faith, that will yield you power and influence to a level you could never imagine or even begin to achieve on your own. Now it's your turn. We talked a lot about faith. Now it's time to take that and make an act of faith. You have a story, you have a testimony, and you have no idea how many lives that you can change and positively impact to do the same. All it takes is one person, and that one person is you.